In the previous lecture, we learned what we have inside these settings. Now let's look at what we have inside this user setting. So when you hold on it, you can see we have all user, add new user and your profile. So let's click on it and open the user setting. Now from this setting, you can see we have all users selected. We have only one active user on this block. If you want, you can add multiple user to your blog as well. To add multiple user, you just need to click on this add new. And from this setting, you can add a new user to your WordPress blog. You just need to specify the username, email, first name, last name, the website and the password. And you also can specify the role of the user. Just out there, you can see we have a profile section of your website. Just click on it and open this profile section. And in this section, we have different beautiful settings here. Now in this setting, you can see we have a visual editor. Now if you check this checkbox, this checkbox indicate that you want to use visual editor when writing your post. If you check the checkbox, this will disable the visual editor when writing your post. Just after that, we have a setting highlighting. This will disable the syntax highlighting when you are editing your code. And just down here, we have admin color scheme. And you can change your WordPress color theme from this option. For example, just change it to blue and I click on it. This will change this color theme of this dashboard, right? I just like this midnight, so I'm going to leave it as it is. And down here, you can see we have a keyboard shortcuts, the toolbar, and we have a name of the admin. And down here, you can specify your personal information. You can specify your first name, your last name even your nickname as well. You can specify your email address and other contact information to tell your visitor who you are and where they can contact you. You can also see we have a contact section, email address, your website, about yourself. You can specify biographical info in this text box, your profile picture, and down here, you can just change your password of your WordPress login. Now at the bottom, I'm going to just click on this update profile because as you know, I just changed this color scheme of this dashboard. So I'm going to just save the changes. To save the changes, I'm going to just click on this update profile and save all the changes. Now let's move on and see what we have inside this post menu. So I'm going to just hover on this post and you can see we have four different sub menus of this post. We have all posts, add new, categories and tags. So let's click on this post and see what we have inside this post setting. Now let's look at what we have inside this post menu. Inside this post setting, we have four sublinks. The all post, add new, categories and tags. So let's take a look at the first sub menu, which is all post. So the all post opens a post screen where a list of all the saved posts you've written on your site appears. On this screen, you can search for your post by date, category or even by keywords. And if you wanted to add new posts, you can just take a look at this add new sub menu. So if you click on this add new, you can add a new post from this sub menu. I'm going to just close this pop up panel. Now, when you open this add new setting, you can see we have a beautiful add new post section here. In WordPress 5.0 and later, you will get this beautiful Gutenberg editor where you can just create a beautiful post for your website. I'm going to show you how you can create your first WordPress blog with this beautiful Gutenberg editor. I'm also going to show you how you can use the settings with this editor. But for now, let's move on and see what we have in the third sub menu. In the third sub menu, in the setting of this post, we have a categories. When I click on it, you can see we have here a single category which is uncategorized. Now from this setting, this will open the category screen where you can view, edit, add and delete categories on your site. I'm going to show you how you can use this category in this course. But for now, let's see what we have in the next sub menu, which is tags. Now, when you click on this tags, this will open the tag setting in your WordPress dashboard, where you can add, view, edit, and delete your tags on your website. We're also going to see how to do that. For now, let's move on to the next setting, which is media. So when you hover on this media, you can see we have two sub menus here, library and add new. Let me just click on this media. And when I click on it, you can see we have your media library. Now on this screen, you can view, search and manage all the media files you've ever uploaded to your WordPress site. Using this add new button, you can upload your image or any kind of media in your website. Just after that, 
you can see we have here add new by clicking on this add new you can see we have a upload new media screen you can use this screen to upload your different files in your media so you just need to drag and drop your files inside this inside this box and this will upload your file in your database so this setting work as a built-in uploader to transfer media files from your computer to your media directory in the WordPress but as you can notice here the maximum limit of uploading a file is 2 MB the file size is not more than 2 MB otherwise the WordPress will throw that file out if you want I'm going to show you how you can change this setting for your WordPress blog but for now let's move on to the next now menu of WordPress dashboard which is pages so in this pages you have two different sub menus which is all pages and add new so let's click on these pages and see what we have inside it when you click on these pages you can see we have here all pages selected and from this screen you can see we have two pages on the side privacy policy and the sample page now from this screen you can see how much pages you have on your site and from this screen you can edit your page you can delete it or you can take a preview of your page and from the next setting you can create a new page for your WordPress website now when I click on this add new you can see we have a similar Gutenberg editor where you can create a new page for your website so using this editor I'm going to show you how you can create a home page for your website in the future lectures I'm going to show you how you can set your static page of your website using this editor I'm also going to explain each and every setting of this page now let's move on to the next setting which is comment now when I hover on it, you can see I don't have any sub menu to the comments. I'm going to just click on it and open the comments menu. You can simply click on this command to open the comment screen. Now you can notice here we have all comments selected. So this will show all the comments that currently exist on your site, including approve, pending and the scam comments. If you want, you can filter all these comments. If you click on this pending, this will just show up the pending comments. If you click on this approve, this will show the approve command on your WordPress blog. So let's click on this pending. When I click on it, I don't have any pending command. You can use this pending to show comments that haven't yet approved but are pending in the moderation queue. You can use the setting for that. Just after that, we have approved here. Now we are going to use this to show all the comments that are previously approved. And just after that, we have a scam. Using this setting, we can see all the comments that are marked as a scam and just out of that we have trash and using this setting we can show all that comment you mark as a trash but haven't deleted permanently from the site in the previous lectures we understand the different settings of the wordpress but we haven't taken a look at these appearance settings appearance is the most used part of the wordpress because here we have a very useful sub menus when you hover on this appearance you can see we have a different sub menus here the first one is a theme the second is a customize third is a widget, fourth is menus, fifth is background and sixth is theme editor. Now let's take a look at each of these one by one. So I'm going to just click on this theme and just open it. When you click on this theme, this will open the theme screen where you can manage the themes available on your site. By default, we have four themes here and you can notice we have an active theme which is 2020. You can choose your different theme from these settings. If you want, you can customize this theme by clicking on this customize button let's move on to the next sub menu which is customize you can customize this site by clicking on this customize button or you can just click on this customize sub menu so let's click on it and when i click on it this will open up customizer screen and here you can notice we have different settings here here you can just specify the site identity you can specify your logo to your website set your site title specify your tagline you also can specify the site icon using this setting and you can also specify theme options cover template you can specify background image to this website you can also check out these home settings and the additional css now if you want you can add your additional css and change your wordpress style using these settings right you can notice here we have lots of settings we're going to take a look at each of these one by one in the future lectures but for now let's back to the dashboard the third sub menu is widgets let's click on it this will open up the widget screen now from this screen you can add delete edit and manage the widgets that are used in your site you can see here we have a footer with different widgets we have search here 
recent post and recent comments you can notice if you open a website you have the search recent post and the recent comments so using this widget you can add different section to your website dynamically you can use widgets to add dynamic content in your website so we're going to use widget for that now the next sub menus in the setting is menus i'm going to just click on it and open the setting now from this setting you can notice you can create a menu for your website you can notice we don't have any menu for this website right now but you can create your menu using this setting just click on this create menu and create your own menu for your website wordpress allows you to create your own dynamic menu using this setting now let's take a look at what we have in the background setting so i'm going to just click on this background using this setting you can specify background image to your website right and the last setting we have is theme editor just click on it and open it now when you open this theme editor you can see we have a message here hips up making a direct edit to your wordpress theme on the dashboard so i'm going to just click on this i understand and move on now using this setting you can change the code of your wordpress theme but before you change it make sure you just copy the original theme and then make a change in the wordpress theme so you can recover the default theme later so if anything goes wrong you can recover the default theme let's move on to the next setting which is plugins so in the plugins we have three different sub menus which is install plugins add new and the plugin editor so let's see what we have inside this plugin so i'm going to just click on this plugin and just open it now in this plugin we have three different sub menus the first is install plugins the second is add new and the third one is edit plugin now let's see what we have inside this install plugin so when you click on this install plugin, this will open the plugin screen where you can view all the plugins currently installed on your site. On this page, you can also have ability to active, deactive and delete plugins on your site. Right now, I have two plugins on my WordPress blog and this is not actually activated. By clicking on this active button, you can activate these plugins. We're going to learn what is plugin and how to install it in the future lectures. The next sub menu is add new. When you click on it, this will open up the add plugin screen you can search for plugins from the official wordpress plugin directory by keyword author or tag you can also install plugins directly to your site from the wordpress plugin page but mostly the user install their plugin using this simple add new setting now just after that the last sub menu is plugin editor just click on it and open it now when you click on this plugin editor you can also see a message you appear to making a direct edit to your plugin in the wordpress dashboard I'm going to just say here I understand. Now using this setting, you can edit your plugin files in the text editor. Don't plan to edit a plugin file unless you know what you are doing. So leave this option as it is. Now let's move to the last setting in the WordPress menu which is tools. So I'm going to just hover on these tools and you can see we have different sub menus in these tools. So let's see what we have inside this tools setting. So I'm going to just click on it and open this setting. In these tools, you have different sub menus. The first one is available tools. Now, when you click on it, this will open the tool screen on your dashboard where you can see available tools in your WordPress. And then we have import and export setting. You can use this setting to import and export your WordPress site data to different hosting platform. If you're hosting a website on a particular hosting provider and if you wanted to transfer your data to the different hosting provider, then you can use the setting to transfer your data to the different hosting provider just after that you can notice here we have a site health the export personal data and erase personal data you can check out your site health from this setting you can also export your personal data and also you can erase your personal data using this setting i hope you understand the different setting in the wordpress menu let's open the dashboard i hope you understand these menus if you not yet understand it when we build a WordPress theme, you will completely familiar with these settings, right? In the next lecture, we will understand how to create our first WordPress post. So, I will see you in the next one.